Welcome to Winnipeg. Cold Winnipeg again. Minus 15.9 Celsius. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We got to do a little bit of painting today. Uh, yeah. Uh, then we can start dropping some stuff down. Uh, oh, I, uh, I got the clock going. <laughs> yeah, it, it turns out that, uh, well, my, my son came over for coffee. And, uh, oh, and, and Corey, if you're listening, he, he brought the metal Yamato. You'll, you'll see it in the rollback, actually. It's a little short rollback. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so we're, we're just sitting there having coffee, and the clock was on the kitchen table, and then that's where we were having our coffee, and, and we were making jokes about, well, wouldn't it be funny if it was just a dead battery? So I, I got my voltmeter, and I checked, and it was uh, 7 point something, or rather it was 0.7 something, in other words, 7 tenths of a volt. Well, it should be 15 tenths. <laughs> anyway, this is the dead battery. Well, almost dead. So I put in a new battery, and I could hear right away that the that the movement was 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 running. And uh, so uh, later, after my son left, I cleaned up the clock and put it all back together and hung it up on the wall. Um, so the 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 time would keep going, but the pendulum which is an electronic pendulum, has nothing to do with keeping the time. It's just for looks, but it wouldn't stay swinging. And so I ran down to my workshop and I had another movement that was very similar to, to the one that was in there. And uh, I thought I'll, 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 I'll swap it out. But when it was hanging on the wall and I was trying to, you know, I'd start the pendulum going and it would, the arc would get less and less and less, and finally it would come to a stop. But I thought I could hear a slight rubbing. So I thought, I wonder what that is. So that when I checked it out, it turns out that something had got bent out of line so that when the movement was, was hung up in the clock, it was slightly tilted forward, which, which caused the pendulum to, mechanism to not work. It was rubbing. In other words, those of you who are familiar with that, there is... I can show you on this one. See, see when when it's like this, it'll 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 run pretty good. But if it's tilted forward, if it's tilted forward, it's gonna it's gonna rub, <laughs> and that's what was happening. So anyway, uh, well, this isn't this isn't clock repair 101, is it? This is uh, the model ship show. Anyway, bottom line is it's it's up and running, and at least it was when I checked it a few minutes ago. <laughs> Okay, so I can give give my neighbor a call and say, "Come and get her." <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, my goodness, we're getting really junky on the model table again. Uh, maybe while we're uh, watching the rollback, which isn't that long, uh, I should uh, put some of this stuff where it's supposed to go, or at least where I think it's supposed to go. So let's roll back. Well, our coffee visitor has come and gone, and he brought the package, and we'll just give it a quick check here. He assured me that it was just the way he got it. Okay, be very careful here now. This is a little bit heavier than the normal photo etch stuff that you normally see. Very carefully here. Don't want to bend anything. It all looks good. It all looks good. Oh, 
Okay, we'll get this uh, packaged up and carefully addressed, and uh, maybe I should put a little bit of a little bit of tape on the ends there just to hold it shut. <clears throat> Yeah, the, the manual seems to want to spring it open just a little bit. Just double check and make sure that's what it is. Yeah, it's, it's the manual. Okay, here we go. And we are all packaged up and ready to mail. I don't know when I'm going to get it to the post office, but I'm going to try and do it as soon as I can. And once I get it there, or I'm going to get a tracking number on this one so we can trace it. Not like that one I sent to Australia, which as far as I know still isn't there. <laughs> anyway, I'll send you the number once I get it, and we're going to be looking forward to the photos of your build, as you indicated in your email to me. And, uh, by the way, you viewers might like to know, this is Corey, and uh, he's standing on the deck of the real USS Iowa. And, as he mentioned, he actually does live about 40 miles away from it, uh, as the crow flies, anyway. Okay, it is pretty late this morning. I've been running some errands. And uh, one of the errands was I went to the post office and dropped off Corey's package. Now, while I'm turning this, I want you to look at these two. And you're going to notice a distinctive difference. I thought it was the way the light was hitting it, but it's not. Um, anyway, when I was at the post office, I mentioned to the person there that... Uh, almost two months ago, I'd sent something to Australia, and it wasn't there yet. And the person behind the counter says, well, how did you send it? And I said, well, the cheapest way. And they said that it can take up to three months to Australia, the cheapest way. <laughs> Canada to Australia, like, how are, how are they shipping it anyway? It must be going by boat. Anyway, uh, it doesn't matter. It's it's on its way. So, Dennis, I don't know if you're listening right now, but uh, I was kind of worried that it was lost. But I guess it's just a case of uh, I sent it the wrong way. I should have spent the, the extra dollar or whatever and uh, <laughs> sent it the faster way. Um, okay, notice how these are, are both different. Uh, yeah, and, and yet they are the exact same number off of the sprue or the sheet. They're both number 50s. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Now, I've got to get these little guys off of here and uh, get them mounted on something so that they can be painted both front and back. Um, and, and these ones here, if you remember, uh, I, was, I was talking about, uh, I wanted to see if I could brush them. I think I still will try and brush at least one of them, just to see how it would come out, uh, just just for the fun of it. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, Corey's package should be there in about two weeks or less. Okay, if at all possible, I'd like to mount these on rotating blocks. But this uh, little peg that I'm just trying to grab a hold of right now is so small that I don't know if I can... There we go. Okay, I don't think any uh, blue tack stuck on the on the back side of that. Let's just turn it over and have a look. Whoops. It's all right. I know where it went. Yeah, I think it's okay. Okay, sitting here at the computer right now, I'd have to say, no, it's not okay. So, uh, yeah, you can see a little uh, residue of blue tack on the back of that thing. So I'm going to have to be careful that anywhere that I'm going to be wanting to paint later, I don't want to be sticking that area onto the blue tack. I don't know if I can dab that off or not. I think it's probably, uh, i probably end up breaking something. So we'll just have to paint over it and... Uh, you know, no one's going to see it anyway, for goodness sakes.
Now, is that going to blow over from the airbrush or not? I suppose what I can do is if the pedestal, which is sort of getting itself buried a bit in the blue tack, if it, uh, uh, I, I might be, I might can be able to touch it up. Okay. Well, it's, it's worth a try anyway. Now, as for our K21s and K22s, which are, as far as I'm concerned, the same thing, I'm not going to even paint them. They're going to be going on something that's going to have the uh, the 19, and uh, these already look like 19, so... Okay, these uh, F23s, which I am actually holding on to by the peg that goes into the hole on the deck, uh, I think I'm going to maybe paint them with a with a brush um, because I think they'd be too floppy in, in a positioning peg or in a uh, rotating block. And uh, I've noticed I got a little bit of flashing there. Now, I, I don't actually see that until I look in the monitor. And you can see I've got a little bit of flashing going on right there. Anyway, I wonder what those were for. It, it almost it almost looks like there's uh, some kind of little control box or something on the on the side. Almost looks like uh, street lights, uh, red, amber, green. <laughs> okay, I think what I'm going to do is mount these on rotating blocks, probably individually. I've got lots of blocks. Um, I'd forgotten about these little spotlights here that are uh, even smaller than the ones that we accidentally got blue tack on the back of. Uh, I'll think of something. Probably it'll probably have something to do with rotating blocks somehow. Uh, these uh, pieces here, I don't know. Anyway, I, I was originally going to get my, uh, my uh, 66 shook up here and see if I could paint some of these with a, with a brush or at least one of them on camera uh, this afternoon, but it's, it's getting on here, and uh, yeah, I'm going to be visiting with my neighbor via Skype in, uh, uh, at 4 o'clock. So what do we got here? 2.37. So I pretty much got to do the final edit here, and um, I'm going to call it quits for today. I know today's episode's a little shorter, but uh, they can't all be long. Actually, maybe uh, some people would prefer they weren't long. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody, and all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow. <laughs>